Lights, lights, baby. Buckle up, Buttercup. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't worry, there are no lights harmed in this video, but today I am going to light up your world and install tons of lights here on Buttercup. When it comes to lighting, there are so many options. You have Diode Dynamics, Baja Designs, KC Highlights, Rigid, Oracle, Luminate, and the list goes on and on. What's great about all of these products is they're all available from my website, buckleupoffroad.com. In this video, I'm focusing on two of those brands. I'm gonna be doing an Oracle install and a Luminate install. I may be adding more brands to Buttercup. I still have some pod lights, rear lighting, and everything I need to add. I haven't decided which route I'm gonna go, but I'm going to be installing some fog lights. Since I took off my capable bumper, I did lose my fog lights, so I'm gonna be adding those. Those are Luminate. I have the Luminate trail sight lights, and then I'm going to install the Oracle mirror lights. And if I have time today, it's starting to run out of daylight, I'm going to also install the Oracle rock lights. I'm not gonna go step-by-step step how to install each of these lights because they're all fairly simple. I may go a little bit more in depth on how to do the trail site lighting because that's probably the most difficult, but most of these are plug and play options, so it should be rather simple to install. I'm gonna get started with the Luminate products. The reason for this is these both come with a plug and play harness. I just don't know if they're gonna plug and play into each other because these all do run off the headlight harness. So we're gonna see if we can kind of piggyback these in, make sure they work. Some cool things about these, they have sequential turn signal, and it's just gonna add some more custom look to my Bronco. You know me, I'm all about that customization. Normally to get to the headlight harness, I take off my grill, undo the headlight and everything. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. So I'm gonna try something a little different and go through the liner here, the wheel, and connect it to the headlight harness that way. Let's get started. Pop the hood to get access to the trail site. I am reminded that I have hood struts in my garage that haven't been installed. I think that's Jim's job, not mine. Lefty Lucy, this bolts right out. There's gonna be one here and one here. Very easy to take off. I'm going to transfer the weather stripping to the new site. When I install the new site, I'm gonna make sure that the wiring harness is not pinched at all before bolting it all back into place. Both the trail lights are installed. Now I'm gonna access the headlight harness by going through the wheel well. You might be wondering, Krista, why haven't you pulled off this plastic yet? Cause I'm waiting to the end, but it's killing me. I'm going to disconnect the back of the headlight harness and then I'm gonna show you this whole wiring harness setup that I'm going to do. These are the two wiring harnesses that came with the trail sight light and the fog light. So this one is the one that comes with the fog lights. This one is the one that came with the trail sight lights. One cool thing that Luminate thought of is they have these additional like wire hookups. So if you plan to hook up more Luminate type things, you can easily plug and play them in right here. Now, since I am going to be doing the fog lights and the trail sight lights, I'm going to piggyback the piggyback. The installation of this is extremely easy. You're just gonna clip in the harnesses and then this end here is gonna go to the headlight and then this end is gonna go to the part that you just saw when I unhooked it and it's gonna be one piece. Before plugging this all in down there, I'm going to feed this down in the fender line. You can use any one of these connections to connect to this, it doesn't matter which one. Everything is now connected. I pulled down this wiring harness. This is gonna to go to the fog lights, which means now it's time to install those. Installing these is even gonna be easier than installing the trail sight lights. And that was pretty easy. But all you need to do is loosen these four bolts using an IP40, slide this in and hook up the wiring harness. One cool thing about these lights, it's not using any of your aux switches. So you still have all the aux switches you're able to use. And you also don't need a Bronco that had the fog light option. This is all gonna run off the back of the headlight wiring harness.
That was easy enough. I'm gonna put the wheel liner back in place, do the other side, and then we'll get started with the mirror light install. Everything here is done and wired up and it looks awesome that I'm not gonna make you wait to the end of the video to see how this all looks. But I'm gonna show you this real quick and then we're gonna work on the mirror lights because we are running out of daylight. One thing I like about these lights is the opening sequence. Paired with my Alpha Rex, I think I have the best one out in the Bronco world. The other thing I really like is the sequential turn signal, not only in the fog light, but the trail sight light as well. That was just a little sneak peek. I'll go over a little bit more about the lights at the end of the video and then do some night footage so you can see it. But I need to get started on these mirror lights because I'm running out of daylight. I do know for a fact I'm not gonna get to the rock lights tonight, so I'll just have to do that in a different video. The installation of the mirrors is complete. Trail sights, fog lights, rock lights were a no-go, that's to come. But the moment you've been waiting for, Oh, it ripped. It ripped a little. Yay! I'm gonna pull this out and show you what the lights look like. I also wanna mention that I did upgrade the interior lights of the Bronco. I went with Luminate's dome light and Luminate's trunk cargo light. These are much brighter. As you can see, you can probably see the light shining in my face. These make a huge difference for the interior of the Bronco. I'll show you a little bit of that once we get over there, um, but let's go ahead and hit the road. I'm at an open field with the lights off. I'm going to turn on just my running lights right now. So you can see that the fog lights are going through their opening sequence along with the driving lights. The trail sight lights are also on. So this is what it looks like without my headlights actually on. Now I'm going to flip my aux switch. I wired these mirror lights to aux switch number five. So here we go. Bright, huge difference. You could almost use these as headlights if your headlights weren't working. Now I'm going to turn on my actual headlights, which are the Alpha Rex headlights. Very bright. Can you see me now? I think so. I also wanna talk about the Luminate dome light. Here it is right here. You have three areas of light, one right here, one down, and then one that points into the trunk area. Not only do you gain light in the front seat and in the back seat, but also in the trunk area. But let me show you this light. This light is so incredibly bright. The whole trunk area of the Bronco, it's like sunshine. It's crazy how bright it actually is. I know this isn't a headlight, but here are my Luminate taillights. They also come with a super cool chase opening sequence. Here's a side view. Look at the difference between the lights off and on. It's crazy. Huge difference. The trail sight lights and the fog lights are definitely a cool aesthetic. I would say that's more of a mod just for customization, but these mirror lights are gonna come in handy when you go off-roading at night. So look at the before, and this is the after. A much wider view of the trail. So here's the mirror lights, very bright. Now we're gonna turn on the driver lights and fog lights and trail sight lights. And of course we have to have the buttercup lights and now with the headlights. Talk about being bright like the sun. I love it. The sequential turn signal is really great and the trail sight lights I'm actually extremely pleased with. I was a little bit mm, on the fence if I was gonna like that or not. Of course you can get these all on my website, buckleupoffroad.com. Luminate Oracle are what is featured in this video and the Luminate interior lighting. I am gonna add some more lights, maybe some pod lights, some lights in the back. Who am I gonna go with? I just don't know. There's so many options out there, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup.